Hi, my name is Aaron. I've lived in Stonewater since 2001. We're at the corner of Northeast 73rd and Cherry. And this morning, we'd like to show you the typical layout of a Stonewater courtyard. We are now uh, approaching one of the many courtyards. And as you can see, there are signs on the outside to show the residents' homes. All of the courtyards in Stonewater are identified by address boards which have reflective lettering and are illuminated. Generally what happens is when fire and police arrive, their GPS directs them to the location of the home in the courtyard. The fire truck or EMT pulls up here and those technicians enter the courtyard through the courtyard to the address that's called for services. We're, so we're walking through a courtyard and what I'd like to show you is how our homes are set up for delivery, for emergency access, for all of the things that we have been experiencing for the 18 plus years of this community. You're going to notice that every home has a covered alcove. It has a private and secure space for deliveries. We have R30 lamp bulbs which illuminate from the, this area all the way to the sidewalk. We have a number of neighbors who have ring doorbells that are positioned at their doors. And this is one of the units that has no gated patio in the alley. It's a condo where the living space is all upstairs. And here is the ring doorbell and the light lidded patio. And one other additional thing to point out is that in all of the courtyards, the final four homes, which are most interior to the courtyard, are considered condos. And these homes have no gate access from the alley. We are on the other side of the courtyard where some of the homes have a gated patio in the back, but many of them do not have any gated patio in the back, but instead their patio is upstairs. And as you can see, it would be difficult for a first responder to come in with a gurney into this garage. And likewise, this unit doesn't have a gated patio in the alley as well. It's hidden over in the bushes. Hi, my name is Barbara Chapnick. I'm also an owner at Stonewater. We wanted to talk about some unique situations where we have a courtyard here and the alley is a dead end. And as of January 1st, disposal and garbage will no longer be going into dead end alleys as the city ordinance is protecting their safe way, safety because they can't back out. If you were to change these addresses in the courtyard to an alley name, these people who have food, supplies, pharmaceuticals delivered, the delivery people wouldn't even be able to get in here because they can't back out. So we hope that you'll take this into consideration as well. We have a very unique neighborhood here. It was approved 18 years ago by the city the addresses were approved that people's courtyards would have a front door there and we would like to keep it the same and yet the city come up with an alternative plan that alleys can be named but don't change our addresses. The majority of neighbors in Stonewater support the naming of alleyways but we do not support the re-addressing of homes that face courtyards two alleyways for all of the number of reasons we've already talked about. Our courtyard accesses and front doors are safe and secure and well lit. We have a number of people in here who are honored citizens who rely on deliveries for medications, for food, for personal deliverables, and this proposed renaming to the alleyway threatens all of that. Stonewater has a total of 154 homes that face courtyards that will be impacted by the proposed alleyway address renaming.
that's 45% of owners in Stonewater are gonna be negatively impacted by this change. We would encourage the city to come up with an alternative and more adaptive way, if you wanna name the alleys, to keep the residents here safe and secure and maintain their front door as their home address and not the alley. We appreciate your time and we look forward to more information and adaptation to us. Thank you.